no settling down. My text go to screen, you know better than that. I come around when you least expect me. I'm sitting at the bar when your class is empty. You thinking that the song's coming home and What's going on, Clan fam? It is finally time. We are finally here, NBA 2K23. I'm hyped. I am so hyped for this game. There are so many things that I cannot wait to try out on this game. You got my NBA eras, which I'm about to get into right now. Still got to do some of the Jordan challenges. I can't wait to do that, being a Michael Jordan fan myself. I'm really excited for that. Without further ado, let's go ahead and hop on into this thing. My NBA eras. Relive the greatest eras in NBA history by starting in one of several different time periods, each offering a unique experience. The Magic vs. Bird era. Ready to experience the biggest rivalry in league history? Relive 1983 and beyond as Magic and Bird put the NBA back on the map, battling for supremacy while draft buzz builds around an intriguing young prospect named Michael Jordan. Okay, so I already have a plan in place. We're going to be the Houston Rockets. Now, I know what you're thinking. Why the Houston Rockets? Well, rumor has it that back in the day, back in 1984, the Houston Rockets actually wanted to draft Hakeem and Michael Jordan. Could you imagine that team? Could you imagine Hakeem Olajuwon, the dream, future NBA MVP, alongside the greatest of all time, Michael Jordan? The Lakers and Celtics wouldn't have a chance in the 80s, so that's what we're going with. Let's see how this goes. Let's try it. So we only got, let's see, 4, 8, 12, 16, 20. We got 23 teams in the league right now. Yo, this is crazy. Look at these logos, too. These logos are so clean, man. This is really impressive, 2K. Again, it's not going to be perfect by any means. I mean, all I don't think all these rosters are perfect, but... I mean, they did a they did a solid job here. Reggie Theus on the Chicago Bulls. I mean, World Be Free, Larry Bird, Robert Parrish, Kevin McHale, Dennis Johnson. We're going to be working for Travis Harden, a philanthropist in his own right. Travis Harden is universally respected. Money is no object and winning is everything. A very forgiving person. That's good. We need that. We're probably going to make, probably going to make a few mistakes here. He will give you a second chance due to failure if you look after the well-being of the players and staff in the organization. That is what I like to hear. The Magic vs. Bird era. Here are some of the major changes happening in this era. The Hornets, Heat, Magic, and Timberwolves joined in 1988 and 1989. More physical play, of course. Vintage 80s era presentation with simple overlays. San Diego Clippers moved to Los Angeles in 1984. Kansas City Kings moved to Sacramento in 1985. Several new floors, several new uniforms, unique 80s commentary during gameplay. Zone defense is banned. What's a good name for this fella? Ken. Ken. Ken Adams. Adams. Yes, Kevin Harlan. Adams. I'm not really worried about badges right now. I kind of just want to hop into this mode and see what happens. Now, can we talk to anybody? That is the question. It doesn't look like not able to talk to anyone at the moment can i let's just let's go to staff this is not good we can't have conversations with people is that is that where we're at 2k oh no oh no maybe that's not the end of the world maybe uh maybe as we go along here we'll be able to talk to people. we'll see I, i'm not giving up hope yet let's take a look at our roster we got ralph sampson rodney mccray Robert Reed, Alan Leval, Lavelle, I, I'm not sure, Elvin Hayes, Wally Walker, Terry Teagle, Major Jones, Craig Elo's on this team. This is going to be a lot of fun. I, I really hope that we're able to talk to people, though. That concerns me a little bit because that is a huge part of these role, you know, I mean, it says up in the corner, RPG. It's a role-playing game, so you should be able to talk to these people so that's if we can't do that that's gonna be uh that's gonna be bad that's gonna be really really bad and i i am not looking forward to a game that i cannot talk to people and have conversations so we have a trade offer here um we will get a first round pick out of it 
and we're kind of uh, we're kind of tanking right now. Like I said, we're trying to get as many first round picks. We're trying to get as many picks as we can right now. This trade would put the Rockets under the minimum player. The team can do this using a yeah. That's fine. Whatever. I'm not concerned. Look at our record. We are horrendous. Now here's the thing. I don't think there's a lottery this season. I don't think the lottery started until 1985. So I think the team with the worst record gets the number one pick, I'm pretty sure. Larry Bird is your MVP for 1984. 27 points a game, almost average a triple-double. Rookie of the year, Ralph Sampson. Of course, he had to carry our team. Kevin McHale, sixth man of the year. Kareem, defensive player of the year. LaSalle Thompson, most improved. Casey Jones with the Celtics, I do believe, coach of the year. Right? Casey, yeah, Casey Jones, coach of the year. Jaden Woods, Executive of the Year. Here's your first team. If you guys want to check all that out, you can pause the video. I'm not going to go through all these. I'm not really that worried about it. Ralph Sampson did make all defensive second team, though. Good for him. So we should get the number one pick. If, if this game is true to the time period, we should get the number one pick. Lakers beat the Celtics in seven games. Team branding changed the uniforms of the Utah Jazz. Sure. Team branding changed the uniform of the Indiana Pacers. Sure. All right, cool. So again, they they are staying relatively true to things. I don't think player fouled in transition with the clear path to the basket. I'm gonna look that up real quick. When did the clear path become a rule? I don't think that was until recently. I could be wrong. According to the NBA's website on the history of rule changes, the first mention of the clear path rule dates back to the 1984-85 season. I was wrong. All right, so we're not gonna veto that. I did not realize that that was uh, a rule back then. That's crazy. So we'll advance past that. League meetings. Clear path to the basket. All right, that's been approved. Uh, I'm not going to mess with any of this other stuff because I think that eventually it will kind of change itself. I don't need to go through here and say, oh, yeah, well, we'll accept this. We'll reject this. I, I think it should change on its own. I could have swore they did not have a draft lottery. I, I could have swore the draft lottery did not start until 1985. Also, the fact that they have a picture of David Stern on here is so cool. So we get the two pick. And the Sixers get the first pick. So we'll have to trade. I mean, we're going to be trading a lot for this pick. Because I want MJ and I want Hakeem. We'll give you a first rounder next year because I'm not really concerned about next year's... Uh, next year's draft and we'll give you our 86 pick okay and we'll give you uh, we'll give you a first rounder in 1988 all right and we'll give you a second rounder in 1988 you scrubs all right, we'll give you we'll give you a second rounder next year. Just say yes, man. Jeez. All right, we'll give you another first rounder in 1988. Oh my goodness, man! What do you want me to do? Trade my whole team? This is unbelievable. Oh my God, they're not gonna trade it. Come on, man. We're giving you so many picks. Oh my god, man. We're not going to get MJ. This whole thing was to get MJ. We're not even going to get him. What the hell? We're giving you a first round. We're giving you We're giving you six first rounders. What are you doing? All right. Back to the drawing board. Who's got the 3 pick? We'll give you our first rounder next year. And we'll give you a first rounder in 1986. How about that? All right. See? I, I mean that's that's how easy that's how easy it should be. Now give me your number one pick. They are not going to make this trade, man. Oh my goodness. You've got to be kidding me. You know what? Let's see what we can get for Ralph Sampson real fast. We're going to have to do this. We're going to have to... We're taking the seven pick. This is wild. This is, this is wild. We're getting rid of everybody on this team, man. All right. We'll give it another shot. We'll give you that one. We'll give you this one. Now there's no way they say no to this trade. There's no way. Look at all the stars on this side. Two and a half, three and a half, two, two and a half, two, two, to their four? 
Let's go! See, you just gotta... You, perseverance, man. You just never give up. You gotta keep going. You cannot give up. Never give up. John Cena taught us that. The Houston Rockets are now on the clock. We just traded our entire future for this draft. And you already know who we're taking, baby. We're taking Michael Jordan with that number one pick. We got Michael Jordan. Chris Broussard's on here. What? Chris Broussard? One of the greatest NBA journalists of all time? Wow. Michael Jordan led the nation in scoring last year in North Carolina. We know he can score, but we're about to find out if he can do anything else out of the NBA level. Oh, Chris Broussard, trust me, he can, dude. Choose prospect, you already know. Akeem Olajuwon, welcome to the squad. One of the best rebounding players we have seen in years. Akeem Olajuwon's 15.9 rebounds per game last season at Houston was tops in the nation. John Stockton goes to the 76ers. They just traded Michael Jordan for John Stockton. Dummies. Let's see if we can sign Bill. We cannot. We do not have enough money. Okay, so again, there's no role-playing elements here for a role-playing game, supposedly. It's supposed to be an RPG. It says it again. Like I said, it says it up in the top left-hand corner of the screen. We can't talk to anybody. So, 2K. Big L on that. For sure, that's a huge L. I'm not really sure why, why they took that away. That does not make a whole lot of sense. It really doesn't. I mean, you're you're pushing an RPG and you can't you can't talk to anybody. That's frustrating. So let's take a look at our roster right here. We've got Michael Jordan, Jim Paxson, Hakeem Olajuwon, Craig Elo, Tremont Goodwin. And then we got a bunch of roster players, pretty much. So um, it's gonna be it's gonna be hard. Let's see what this presentation's all about, and then uh, I'll probably end the episode, really, because there's not really much I can do in this first season. We've all been looking forward to the start of a new NBA season on 2K Sports. Okay, so this is pretty cool. There's Hakeem. David Aldridge is with us from the sideline. This is this is so cool. I feel like I'm in 1985 right now. And they got Bill Cartwright, I just noticed that. This is crazy. Well, Mike, tonight, the culmination of all the hard work put in during the offseason. Okay, there he is. I was about to say, is MJ really not in the game? All right. This is, this is amazing. This is seriously amazing. 2K outdid themselves with this one, for real. Now, again, there are some, there are some things that I think could be a lot better, but this is, this is pretty cool. This is pretty cool. What the heck? This is unbelievable. And one. Thank you. So yeah, I mean, I, I feel like I just stepped into a time machine. It's crazy. MJ, for some reason, wearing Converse. We might have to change that up at some point. That oh my throw, no goodness. Oh my goodness. We all know about Michael's offensive prowess, okay? But he's incredible defensively as well. He works hard The game definitely feels a lot smoother this year. I will say that much. He saw his opportunity and went right into attack. Doesn't feel as clunky. Oh my. All right. I've had about enough of this. I'm, I'm seriously, I'm not that bad. I, I'm, I'm really not. 2K for the most part, this mode is a W so far. Again, like I said, there are a few things that I would work on as far as heading into next year's game. Again, this is day one of 2K23, so I shouldn't really be complaining a whole lot. I'm going to go in and see if there's a, you know, see if there's more role-playing elements in 
not necessarily my NBA eras. Maybe it'll be a little different. Maybe there will be like a mind GM mode. I don't know. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know I kind of ran it and rambled a little bit throughout, but um, 2K23 is here, and I'm going to be trying to make videos every single day. That's the goal. I'm going to be trying to do it daily uploads, and we'll see how long that lasts. Probably a week. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new, and I will see you on another time. Peace. You fucker!